Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today I just wanted to do a quick video on the Xeno. So you've probably seen I've done a lot of videos on this. I've done the firmware videos, when I've tested it after firmware updates. I've had two of these actually in the four months since it's come out. So after four months, what do I really think about it now? So obviously the first one I had, my biggest issue was always going to be the camera. The flying characteristics were a small part of it, but they never really concerned me that much with the fact that the camera used to flash colours on the screen. I just, it was horrible. They replaced it eventually and I got the, this one and I've had no issue with the camera since this. So it's had various amounts of updates. And is it 100% right? No, it, it isn't. But I think you've got to be honest now and say it's probably at a point where it's very much acceptable. At the minute you can, at the time I'm making this video, you can still pick them up for 260 quid on Banggood. There's absolutely no doubt about the fact that this drone's worth £267. It's not going to be as good as when the Femi X, uh, sorry, the Femi 8 is going to be, it's not going to be as good as that. That's going to be a better drone. It's got more features. The video footage looks crisper, but that's still 390 quid, I think it is. I mean, it's £388. So if that price stays at, the, at what it is, then it's very much worth the money. I've enjoyed having this. I just think that the characteristics of flight you get used to after a bit it doesn't drop its altitude anywhere near as much as it did it still drops don't get me wrong and it still needs fixing it still needs to be sorted but it doesn't stop you enjoying the flight just don't fly really near to the floor and you're absolutely fine if you're flying at the camera drone you're probably not even going to hardly notice that it does that because you're going to be probably up 30 40 meters you're never even going to notice i'm only noticing it because i'm testing it for that fault Mine doesn't crab anymore to the left when you fly. I don't know if anybody else's does. Mine certainly doesn't. It flies perfectly true, true and straight. And the camera now is very, very acceptable. So when I originally did this, I reviewed it on the fact that you were buying something that was obviously a budget price. It wasn't going to be a Mavic. It wasn't going to be a Mavic Air or a Parrot and Affe. And it isn't. This is, the Parrot and Affe is a better drone than this. I'll just get that out of the way straight away. I've done a review. I've done a comparison video. And there's a big difference but this is a budget drone the, the, the only thing this drone that i now don't like is this controller i think this controller is horrible i have no idea why they did this controller because i've just reviewed a 501a i can't remember what the controller h101 or whatever it's called the thing kills it the controller is so much better so if they could make a controller like that why did they just use it for this i'm guessing because they wanted a small form factor and a folding controller like this something small well, it's the only thing they've got wrong now, in my opinion, because the controller is not good enough. You're never going to get super smooth yaw because of the fact these sticks have nowhere near enough resolution in them. But, it doesn't affect the fact that it's a cheap drone. So, I've had it for a while now. I love the app. I think the app works. I have no connection issues. I've had it over, I've had it one and a half kilometres. No issues whatsoever, no issues with connection, I haven't ever tried to drop connection, it's not glitching on me. I think the only time it's ever glitched on me when it's been right above my head, which you're going to get near enough every drone. So the app's good, the camera now is good, and so the drone itself, so the fit and finish, when you've had it a bit you probably notice little bits that don't quite fit right and stuff like that, but again it's a cheap drone. And it really is a good drone for what you want it for. If you're wanting something that does 4K and it's acceptable quality, then this is great. If you wanted something that does 4K, 60 frames a second, it's not going to be that drone. It's not going to do that. It doesn't have the transfer rate of 100 megabits per second. It's not going to be that kind of drone. You're never going to get that kind of footage out of it. So if you're buying it and want to compare it against a Mavic, it's not going to be. It's not. It's pointless. It's never going to be a Mavic, it's never going to be a Parrot and Affet. It is a Hudson Zeno. It's entirely on its own at the minute. There's nothing out on the market at this price point that does exactly the same thing. The Femi X8 is a bit more money, and yeah, it does look a better drone. Let's be fair, it's, it looks a lot better drone. But there's supply problems with that at the minute. You can't get hold of one. So if you're looking for something cheap as a starter drone for a camera, camera starter drone, this is as good as you can get for that money. I've had no problems with any of the things that other people have had problems with at the beginning. I've had no, never like it's going to fly away on me or anything like that. Never lost reception from here to the drone. As long as you follow the steps on here, 
when you're setting it up you're not going to have a major issue you have to bind it you have to every time you've got to make sure you've connected your phone and the transmitter make sure the phone isn't connected straight to the drone which i've seen on videos recently people have done and they've connected the phone to the drone on wi-fi it's going to come through your phone it's not going to fly through your transmitter and if it does fly through something hey, you certainly haven't got a good connection so all that aside i reckon i now recommend this i've I couldn't at first and I haven't been able to 100% recommend it because there were still things wrong with it and at £360 I'm still thinking it needs to be better but look what you can pick it up for now at Banggood there's other places selling it cheaper as well I think Gearbest are as well they're selling it cheaper at other places and it's definitely worth that money I, I don't honestly think it'll go up too much in price I don't think it's ever going to rock it up it can't do because when the Femi comes out you can get hold of it easier it's going to be far too much competition for it and this isn't going to stand up against it but at the price point it is at the minute yeah it's great so i've compared this to a lot of things you'll have seen i compared it to femi and everything else the problem with the, with any of the xiaomi products you can't go pick them up in the uk at different places you can buy the hubson from quite a few um, quite a few retailers in the uk there's quite a few retailers that sell drones sell this so you can pick it up quite easily you can actually buy it on amazon you're never going to be able to buy the Femi A8 X8 sorry or the Femi A3 on Amazon or if we go pick it up at your local hobby store because they're not going to sell it so there's always going to be that global market that Hubsyn can get into and, and DJI for that point because everybody sells their products that are going to mean that the Xiaomi range or Femi as it's now called range are never going to be as popular because the only places you can buy them from are the Chinese retailers which is a shame but it's just how it is so if you're looking for a cheap drone under 300 quid that done a 4k camera go for it if you're looking for a 1080p drone and that's all you're bothered about then you can get the Femi A3 but at the minute the price point's not enough of a difference to me oh, I got the built-in screen and it's a Femi but the price point's no longer enough to make me say well you should definitely buy the female if it was 360 pound the female with 230 then i say yeah get the 1080p and live with the 1080p because a lot of people don't use 4k anyway so that's really all i wanted to say i just wanted to get the video up to say what i really think about so you're probably not going to see many more female vid um sorry <laughs> xeno videos from me unless there's a software a firmware update and then i will do one but other than that I probably won't be reviewing this or doing much more with it. I'll just be flying it for fun now. I intend to keep it. I don't intend to get rid of it. To me, it's a fun drone. I enjoy flying it. It's very... When you've got this in the air and you're using it as a camera drone and you're 30, 40 metres up and you're forgetting about all the facts that I'm looking for when I'm reviewing it, I enjoy flying it. So as a flyer, I really enjoy flying the drone. And the video footage I'm getting out of it is more than acceptable for what I need it for. I want to get really sharp victory footage, I'll fly my Altel Evo and film at 4K 30, 60 frames a second. If I don't, I'll just use this because it's more than adequate. So that's what I want to get the video. Just It's kind of like my final conclusion on, on this drone. The only thing I will do is I will do firmware updates. I know people are interested in that. So when one comes out, I'll put it on and I'll fly it as quickly as I can for you and get a video up, telling you the differences and showing you if anything's changed on the camera, etc. But apart from that, you won't be seeing much more of it. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.